Well, hello there, Forge fans. Welcome to my city. This one is in the original D world. I just started it a few days ago. Let me just double check. Go to profile. And the only useful. Play Forge of Empire for three out of 365 days. Okay. What have I accomplished? I have a small boost. Not many buildings, as you can see. Just uh, three raccoon hideouts, which I like very much. Seven uh, blood, li uh, blood lilies. That's about it. Not very active in the event. Uh, not really care much for it. And my tech tree, I pretty much take that everything, as you can see. Okay. And let's see here. As you can see, if I were to advance to the early Middle Ages period, EMA, I will gain a hundred diamonds. I've already gained 40 diamonds from the original side quest that kind of tricks you by asking you to pay money and then paying you back one coin. It does it two times and then on the third time it asks you to pay 33 coins and instead of paying you one coin, it pays you 40 diamonds. Okay, so everybody knows about that one. But this feature of upgrading from Iron Age to EMA and receiving 100 diamonds is new. I'm going to the map. To show you Karchago, when you scout Karchago, you also receive a hundred diamonds as your reward. Then, as you see, these mountains covering this area here, there are four extra provinces in EMA. You can access them when you get to the EMA map. When you take the fourth one, I forget how to pronounce the name, Stromalbu, whatever it is, you also gain a hundred diamonds as a reward. So literally by running up the tech, tech tree to EMA, and acquiring this one particular province, scouting the other province in IA, you get a total of 340 diamonds. Now, there is a small side quest in EMA that gives you 30 diamonds. It's a poor, uh, pauper is something uh, side quest. So that makes it 370 diamonds. I don't remember if there is a standalone quest in EMA that provides you with a hundred diamonds. I don't think so. The other noticeable thing is that uh, this new system of story quest, they provide you with rewards that were not provided before. Specifically, they provide you with eight units of Iron Age of each of the five units as well as four units of each of the EMA units. The heavy, the light, the fast, the range, and the artillery. In different areas, they are called different things. But that's what they are. So, by just going into EMA, eh, I mean, here I am, it's the third day, right? And I have this option. Okay, so I still haven't 
uh, uncovered that province in EMA that gives me 100 diamonds, but that's easy to do. Plus, if you look at my army, okay, early Middle Ages, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Four of each unit. So you can use your army to fight. Oh, and it used to be those four provinces used to be defended by barbarians. Well, now they're only defended by four. Very easy to win those battles. Extremely easy. And then the, 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 the curious thing is, uh, there's this building here, where is it, right here. The Knight's Pavilion, it provides five goods, and it provides two military random units, okay? Keep in mind, this is seven days, so I've only had the rewards twice. And I got two units, which are really cute. See, these are all the units I already have from Iron Age. But look, look what I got here. A club man. This is a Stone Age unit. or They classify it as Bronze Age, because stone is prior to Bronze Age. But the first time that you fight in the game, you're fighting against clubmen with spear fighters. And I got two of them. Yay! The other two that I got are champs. Okay, champions. Okay, unattached, Bronze Age. From that one, Knight's Pavilion building. All right, now... The reason I started this video is because I got sniped by someone on my friends list. Hurricane Donuts. Let's look at my friends list. Hurricane Donuts, where are you? Here we are. Okay, and you can see Hurricane Donuts has got a great building. Only one. And let's see what else we've got here. Somebody sniped his. Okay. So maybe that's where he picked up that it's okay to do that. Wow. Not only did this jerk self-level the first level of his great building, he did it the second level, which means no one got a chance to get any rewards. And in the third level, only one person was able to pick up 15 forge points for 10. Well, anyway. I don't like to be sniped, especially by people on my friends list. So, okay. What do we do? We screw him up by deleting the building. And he will never see those eight forge points again. They go to the bit bucket. They disappear from the game. Now, where's the delete key? I forget. Uh, 
Oh, here. I have to go outside. Sell. Yes. Slide it over. Yes. And it's gone. And so are his forge points. Okay, so I lost my forge points. In Bronze Age, I have no place to put them. The only place I can put them is in my GBs. And the only reason I put it there, because besides providing new players with military units as rewards, the game provides you with a full set of one specific great building per era up into Colonial. That means in EMA, you will get all nine prints, one after the other, just by answering the quest like you do with the Oracle in Bronze Age. In Iron Age, it's Lighthouse of Alexandria. And then as you move through the Upper Ages, it continues. It only stops, I think, when you're either in Colonial, maybe LMA, but maybe Colonial or maybe Industrial Age, Industrial Era. No, Industrial is an age. PE is an era. E standing for era. Okay, so we're done. I hope you enjoyed that. I have tremendous satisfaction knowing that I deleted a great building that some jerk decided to snipe, especially from my friends list. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.